Go to Athos. Now, have I got a navy to start somewhere? Seems odd that I wouldn't have any. Sh oh, there we go. Are these. Yeah, we have road slingers of roads. These guys are just expensive. It just costs too much. Oh, wow. He's fantastic. So he's going to be leading. I imagine he'll be leading my. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely the Spartan League for sure. He'll, he'll be leading my conquests. Nature Minor, once I have the money for that. For now, though, let's just build up a militia force. I've already got a couple couple units of militia there, I don't really need more. I uh, can't afford to get a militia force here, so we'll build the traditional hoplites. These guys, I mean, these guys are, are decent looking. They kind of look like the original hoplite model. These guys are pretty cool looking. Then we get armor and hoplites. Those guys are actually. Yeah, I can show them off over here. I should be able to. No, I can just. I think it's just by virtue of it being Sparta that I can recruit Spartans. And militia barracks, Spartan hoplites. Armored hoplites and armored heavy hoplites. Fantastic. It's interesting that Sparta is so large. Shouldn't Athens have been the larger, the larger city? No. Either way, everyone's moved. Um, Pergamum needs militia. Um, now that that's all taken care of, let's end turn and see what kind of money we make. We are not besieged. That is good. Hydonia is larger now, so I have less money than I had last turn, but 3,300 in turn and income is not bad. Fantastic. So I built something everywhere. That'll increase our income immediately as well. Britannia and Germania. Now when I played this, a game as Pontus, and if anyone's excited because of my riveting commentary, um, I've never actually ever finished a long campaign of this game. I've finished one short campaign as the, I think it was actually the, um, the Brutii Romans. I've never finished a long campaign, so you're warned. <laughs> um, now that I've gotten everyone to get all upset, down, or whatever, this guy built some ports because we do you want to start building a navy eventually? I would say ports are almost more important than armies at this point. Kydonia has a port. Let's get that temple to Hermes up then. And I'm completely out of ability to build anything. So let's... we have um, a valuable trade resource there, so let's grab Hermes. Now, we might be under attack by the Seleucids now. Now, there is a city right here, I remember, and it is controlled by Pontus. It's Bithynia. Is, is this walled? It certainly doesn't look walled. Oh, it's not walled. I can't really have the hubris to say our men are our walls, but eh, I mean, we have hoplites, it's it's good enough. The phalanx in our streets almost almost just ridiculously unbeatable. What's this? Uh, that's a Macedonian navy. Corinth and Athens, Athens have fantastic walls here. Wine, marble, copper. Copper is extremely useful because copper and tin are used to make bronze, which is what we make the, uh, the hoplon shield out of. I'm out of money, and I'm... I'm gonna go scouting along the coast to see if I can't find any more cities. It might just be Halicarnassus and Sardis that I want to snag. Um, 
later on. I'm. End of turn, so now we've made a little bit of money. We have a surgeon. Philosopher, Hieronymus, I'm not sure what that is. But all these sound very useful. I don't even remember what I don't remember what difficulty I'm playing on. Maybe I'll go back and rewatch it just so I know what Wow, I'm fantastic. I completely forgot my spy. So, Larissa and Thurman are going to be early targets. In fact, do you have any? No. Agamemnon, not famed as a general that he was of old. So let's, let's actually split the army. Send Cleomenes north and Antigones. They are on Gigonos south. So Cleomenes... Cultists are absolutely devastating against and I'll send the archers. Oh, these are Cretans, even. I might I might just spam these Cretans. They just cost too much, I can't it's hard to justify. So spend send the Spartans north. Militia can stay in Athens. But I will give him the more experienced troops. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And Spartans. And he has an extra unit cultus. So there we go. So we are well divided, and now. Yeah, both are within a. A day's march, as it were, or a season's march. And realistically, um, during the wars between Sparta and Athens, I mean, you could... They'd fight a whole war in the... I don't know about a whole war, but... They'd fight for summer, and then go home to harvest their crops, chill for the winter, and then come back next... So in spring, then come back next summer and fight some more. Um, that's improved roads and trade. Increase in trade. That's a, a cheap, the cheapest increase in trade I have right now. Syracuse. that Temple of Nike. Let's jack up the tax rate on Syracuse. Um, there's not really a lot of excuse for us not to make money off of it. Especially as much as it's going to cost us to hold. Dionysus, we're counting on you. Um, so Syracuse is set. Sparta is building the port still. Let's get another unit of militia. We'll retrain those hoplites, give them some of the experience bonus. I'm not sure why they started there, but didn't start with the experience bonus. Um, now I can up my tax rate. Um, not on Sparta just yet. Uh, once those hoplites, the next round of hoplites come in, I can do it. We'll add more militia, and then let's add some more... We can Concern, oh, we might need actual hop. Well, I'll just add more militia for now. And let us continue to sail. Here is Salamis, ripe for the taking, if I wanted to start a war with the Egyptians. And then Tarsus is the next Seleucid town, so they're very, very far overstretched here. It doesn't look like there's anything else in this area. There might be a city in here. But I'd be stunned if there wasn't. This is Lycia. This is still Lycia. Wait, hold on. What is this? This is Cilicia. And then Lycia. That's interesting. Ionia. Bithynia. That's right. 
I wanted an alliance with Pontus. Uh, so, alliance, trade rights. Um, no? Okay, what about alliance, trade rights, and I'll give you map information. Oh, fuck, really? Okay, so they do not want to be friends with me. How about just trade rights? Okay. No, they don't even want to talk to me. Wow, okay. I guess I should abandon all pretense of war with the Seleucids, because they hate me today. Hmm. You're all fairy... Well, I'll we'll end turn for now. Well, the Seleucids are going to attack me. So I guess I will be fighting the Seleucids after all. That's kind of cute, I guess. This is Lycia. Okay. So I was going to just drop an army on their heads, but... Spain and Carthage are at war. Scythia and Thrace. Or Scythia, I guess. So I've made money. Now this is Thessalia. The capital is up here in Macedonia. So, it's... Ah, uh, I just can't remember the name. Adrianople's over here, if I recall correctly. This is, um, Thessalonica. Capital's at Thessalonica. What is the, um... Oh, plus four bonus to population loyalty. That's actually fantastic. I wonder if I could capture Masana. Stani, they have... And they have, like, a small army just out front. So now I have a regular archers, so that's more tolerable. One ship? Are you kidding me? Somewhere I could increase the scroll speed. Guess not. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Um, that they would decide to attack me there. The land clearance farming is pretty good. But now I have thriving trade. Going back and forth here. Fortunately, mines and mines are expensive. Roads are less expensive than mines, at any rate. And then it's just tax the crap out of me. Okay. So another day, another turn. Trade rights and I'll, I'll give you map information. Just give me trade rights. Thank you. Okay. or we will attack. Okay. Are you seriously going to attack me? Because I didn't give you map information? That's a little silly. Okay. Well, let's just get this, this underway. Um, 
I mean, they haven't done anything as yet. 